Chapter 11. Extra, extra, read all about it. On Thursday morning, the Westfield Gazette was delivered to all 12,297 homes and post office boxes in Westfield. The story about Lincoln Elementary School was the first item on the front page. In the headline, local fifth grader says, move over, Mr. Webster. It was quite an article. Not that Judy Morgan didn't tell the truth. Every statement in the article was completely true. It was the particular way she told the truth when that got things happening around town. For example, take the sentence about Mrs. Granger. Mrs. Granger, champion of the forces of order and authority, is battling hundreds of young friendly fighters. Neither side is giving in. Or this bit about Nick. Everyone agrees that Nick Allen is masterminded in this plot that cleverly raises issues about free speech and academic rules. He's a boy, he is the boy who invented the new word, or this last sentence in the article. One thing is sure, the kids at Lincoln Elementary School love their friendles, and no one seems to be backing off from this war of the wet words. And of course, the Westfield Gazette published the class picture too. And Mrs. Granger and, Mrs. Granger and Nick were identified for all the world to see. What is the meaning of this? That's what Nick's mother said. Putting the article in front of Nick's nose when he got home from school. Did you talk to this reporter? She seems to know an awful lot about you and your new word, young man. What is the meaning of this? That's what the school superintendent said to Mrs. Chatham, slapping a copy of the article onto her desk. Why did you have to talk to that reporter? Don't we have enough trouble getting the taxpayers to pay for the schools without, without articles like this banging around town? What does it mean to this? That's what Mrs. Chatham said to Mrs. Granger, shaking the newspaper in front of her face. I know that you had to talk I know you had to talk to that woman, but did you have to say all these things? It'll be a wonder if if we all don't get fired. It was quite a Thursday for everyone. And no one could figure out, out how Judy Morgan had gotten that fifth grade class picture.